Greyhound Urinary Tract Infection Hygiene Bye Bye UTI 7 Day Boot Camp Day 5 UTIs are a big problem for greyhounds and many other breeds, but today we're going to get to the bottom of it. Yes, that bottom. I think I've actually managed to find a topic on YouTube that nobody else has made a video about. A little doggy hygiene can go a long way toward helping your greyhound to stay UTI free for life, so stick around for day 5 of the Bye Bye UTI 7 Day Boot Camp. If you want years of better living with your greyhound, and to save big money too, apply your paw to that subscribe button and tap the bell. Let's take a look at three ways we can help your greyhound clean up his act. First, nothing like a little freshening up after doing one's business. It's not unusual for your dog to still be a little messy after he does a number two. But if you leave him dirty, don't worry, he'll be glad to clean himself up. This can cause the dreaded UTI in three ways. Our old friend E. coli and other bacteria can hitch a ride onto your greyhound's tongue and through his digestive system, and any bacteria that survives that ride is pretty tough. Also, greyhounds are not very discriminating about their licking. They like to give a good cleanup to the whole general area, and as doggy logic will dictate, cleanup will begin at the messiest area and go on from there. That means he'll be spreading the bacteria in his uh, number two right to his urinary area, where it can easily make its way to his urinary tract. It also makes his greyhound kisses a little unhealthy for you and your family. And we're all familiar with the greyhound breath mint, otherwise known as licking your rug. Finally, it can upset his stomach, triggering diarrhea, which is always a bacteria fest. Now you'll have even more UTI-causing bacteria flooding the zone. All that yucky stuff can be avoided simply by giving your hound a quick wipe just before you pick up his doodles. Have a baby wipe in the bag ready to go. Grab the wipe from the outside of the bag, invert the bag over your hand, lift up your pup's tail, and this part is critical, always wipe the butt last. If your dog's a boy, wipe the underside of his tail, then any surrounding fur that looks soiled, and then his butt. If your dog's a girl, Carefully wipe any droppings from around her urethra, very carefully making very sure not to push it into her urinary tract. Then wipe the underside of her tail, any surrounding fur that looks soiled, and then her butt. Sometimes that used wipe can be helpful in cleaning up the ground as well. And in case you're wondering if I feel embarrassed if anyone passes by while I'm wiping my dog's backside, the answer is of course I do. But it truly does keep my dog healthier, so I'm okay with that. I think they're just glad to see somebody who picks up after her dog. The second area where you can fight bacteria which could find its way into your greyhound's urinary tract is in his bedding. Doing a load of dog laundry once a week keeps your dog's bedding clean and comfortable. Dogs love fresh clean blankets warm from the dryer. You can start with whatever laundry detergent you normally use. I've used many different brands throughout the years depending on the needs of my family and all have worked beautifully on dog laundry. Currently, because my son works on cars all day, I use Persil, which is a heavy-duty deodorizing detergent. If Lily gets sick or otherwise soils her bedding, I'll wash that with a free and clear type of detergent and add a laundry sanitizing product. I'll have more laundry tips for you tomorrow on day 6. You'll be amazed at how much cleaner your dog and your home smell from just this one simple change. As if greyhounds aren't cuddly enough, wait till you have one that smells like clean laundry. A third way to lessen your greyhound's exposure to nasty UTI-causing bacteria is to brush his teeth. This will improve your dog's health overall, saving you huge money at the vet's office. Our first greyhound, Peaches, had awful teeth. We brushed them every week and still had to put her through the trauma of annual dental cleanings. These were expensive, scary, and painful. And with greyhounds, there's always the concern that they're going to react poorly to the anesthesia. We finally hit a point where we told the vet to be very aggressive and thorough in Peach's next dental treatment. He was, and after a tough recovery, we followed through by brushing her teeth every day. After that, she never needed another dental treatment. Her teeth passed every annual checkup with flying colors, her digestive problems cleared up, and her health actually improved every year for the rest of her life. And guess what else happened to Miss Peaches? No more UTIs. If you've never brushed your dog's teeth, you both can adjust to it gradually. For the first session, wet a new children's toothbrush and just brush his big front teeth, then give him a little treat. Add a few more teeth to the brushing every day until you're both comfortable with brushing. 
Then you can try it with toothpaste. Make sure the toothpaste doesn't contain xylitol, which is toxic to greyhounds, and just use a little bit, smaller than the size of a pea. So, did I forget any ways to help your dirty dog clean up his act? Let's see. Clean rump. Clean laundry. Clean teeth. I'll bet you never thought there was so much you could do to make your greyhound happier, healthier, and UTI free for life. If you'd like to see a question and answer follow-up video packed with more helpful information on dog UTIs, please add your question in the comments below. Tomorrow on day six of our Bye Bye UTI 7-Day Boot Camp for Greyhounds, we're going to take an in-depth look on how to save your furnishings from UTI messes. Some may think we should have covered that earlier, but our first priority was getting your dog's health back on track. Hope you'll click over to the next video so you can join us. Then, why not binge read helpful articles over at my website, greyhoundhomecare.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time on the Greyhound Home Care channel.